Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is Code Geass episode 22 and episode 23. Last time we had the school festival mm -hmm. and uh, Yuffie unleashed her her plan mm -hmm. that, uh, that she's creating the specially administrated zone of Japan, which is a specially administrated zone of Japan located around <laughs> Mount Fuji. And uh, there people, Japanese people can live in harmony, it's harmony, et cetera, et cetera. Is there anything you want to say before we get going? Lelouch um, is not happy about it? No. I really hope Lelouch can, like, take a little bit of a breather before he just goes and, like, assassinates Yuffie or some crazy shit. Hmm. Because um, I, I think if he, like, doesn't... Like, if he, if he just, like, goes off his initial reaction, he's gonna fuck shit up for not only himself, but everyone else. Only one way to find out. That's by leaving a like and subscribing. If you like our channel, if you like Code Geass, if you want to see more of it, go to mm -hmm. patreon.com slash boldcast to see the last episode of season one and possibly season two. Uh, go see how far ahead we are. Patreon.com slash boldcast. Link in the description. Hope you enjoy most of all. Let's go. No reading anything. There are some unpleasant rumors about Princess Euphemia. Must be due to the Kamine Island matter. You think she contacted Zero there? I suspect there's a connection. Mm. It goes all the way to the... The Viceroy wasn't the only one asking what was going on. But in any case, our connections with them need to be... Mm, right, we'll have to sever ties with them. I'm afraid it's too late. Connections with who? Uh, I don't know. All the evidence has already been gathered, Vice Minister. I see profit sharing bribe. Oh, mm. shit. This General Dalton. With this, we can finally sweep away the parasites who are sucking Prince Clovis dry. <laughs> The NEC. Rats than expected, and all of them are confused by Princess Euphemia's proposed special mm. zone, aren't they? So I guess Kyoto was bribing the government yeah. to keep some of the profits <laughs> of uh, Securidite mines. The way things look, that number's only going to grow. Oh, people can can go there. That's because good. Because of what you represent to the Japanese people, everyone is rallying. No, you're giving me too much credit. It must be due to your proclamation, Princess. I'm truly thankful for this. I really am. Just as I'm thankful to you. And I hope that you're going to help me with everything that's still to come. Yes, you're... Not like that. <sighs> yes. <laughs> I just thought of it. <laughs> You're that video of that old lady and they're like, what's the secret to living so long? And she's like, I can't die. <laughs> Suzaku's like a super old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How are you still alive? I can't die. <laughs> I can't believe that, uh, what's her name? The like- Valetta. No, the maid lady. Sayako. Yeah, is a freaking double agent. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. If she does get introduced to Zero, that's going to be a bit of an interesting uh, yeah, <laughs> interaction. Reveal. I heard a rumor that you'll be given a favored position in the special zone in exchange for the Sakuradite mining rights. Don't mm. be suspicious. It's merely a request to join the ceremony. That's a clever excuse. How dare you? Zero, what about him and all of the Black Knights? <laughs> the situation is serious. It's not only supporters. Some of the members within our own ranks have already applied to join. Unlike the Black Knights, there's no risk involved in signing up for the Japan Special Zone. Besides, when you compare the pedigreed princess with the mysterious unknown man behind the mask, it's obvious which one exudes more appeal. There's a rumor that Kyoto's cooperating with them, too. What's up with that? They're offering equality, that's why. Equality, my ass. Don't just accept their word for it. I agree. But unless we decide how to respond to this quickly, you want to apply to the Special Zone? Because there, it won't make any difference who's a Britannia and who's an Aladdin. Listen, if it looks like Euphemia's proposal, then it wouldn't be wrong for the Black Knights to support this, right? Yeah, sure, like Britannians would ever honor a promise. I think we should support this. It doesn't contradict what Zero said, does it? First off, if we accept peace on their terms, we'll be forced to disarm. We would also get swallowed up in their regime and lose our independence. On the other hand, if we don't support it, then we're against equality and freedom. Then let's support it. What, without any guarantees in place? But we can't ignore it either. Yeah, they're putting a little Sorry bit of a weird situation with that one. Besides, I heard that you were gonna go meet up with Shirley. She might need me to go shopping too. Britannians shouldn't I'm gonna be meet up with Shirley? <laughs> and he's not worried about it at all? Right about because that. why would anyway, he be? I don't care about your special zone! I don't care about support! I'd sooner die than sign that! Jesus Christ. You think you're equal to us now? The lower classes should simply obey their betters without any backtalk. 
There it Someone is. just shoot that guy? The true nature of the sub viceroy's benevolent. What do you want? Doesn't it feel good to look down from above? It is rather like being a god. Hold it, schoolboy. Just back off. I think you should go home right now. Yeah, okay, I will. Well, I better get going. <laughs> huh? What did you say to him? Wrong, sir nobleman. Confusing borrowed power with your own ability is a big mistake. You garbage like you should simply die and be thrown out where no one... All right, already, let's break the... <laughs> Mr. Jesus. Apologize. You insolent well go away! Did he start to use it accidentally? Or did he just get carried away? More ever getting back at you, huh? Well, you have seemed sort of chilly toward her. <laughs> you think so? Then I'll be nicer. Um, mm. Sayoko, would you bring us some tea, please? Yes, as you wish, my lord. I get the feeling you're worried about something, Lelouch. Huh? Does it involve you, Fee? It'd be selfish Whoa. to say that I want to see her again. I'd like to, I admit it, but that would simply cause trouble for you both. You Does like a coat hair? Yes, yeah. very much. Same way you like her. Yeah, I did like her. <laughs> We're bringing you live for the specially administrated zone of Japan. The place is already packed full with 11. <laughs> Will Zero even show up? I see. Mm. What do you think? If the data we have on the man is accurate, then I don't believe he will either. That's crazy that guy's just like literally floating in the air in some sort of weird <laughs> area. I don't know what to call that. Princess Euphemia, it's time. Oh. What's he gonna do? Oh, he came after all. You accept that you've lost me. What are you doing? I thought I would have to carry your identity with me to the grave. <laughs> if people discover that Zero is a Britannian prince, it's all over. They'll mistake this for a farce planned by the Empire. That would even cause the specially administrated zone to fall apart. Greetings, Euphemia Lee Britannia. I wish to request an audience with you. Just with me? Yes. You alone. Something major has happened here, ladies and gentlemen. Zero has just appeared in the open. I'm afraid something's going to happen. We should have gone there like I thought. What for? It's not as if we had choice in the matter. Everyone said that if Lancelot was there waiting, Zero wouldn't show. <laughs> mm. Then this way, please. Princess Euphemia, it's too dangerous to be alone with this man. Your knight, I request that you allow me to accompany you to safety. No, it's all right. Please, don't <laughs> trust me, Suzaku. That's a little bit... Weird. <laughs> Putting a lot of faith in this guy. Zero knows their real intentions. Isn't that why he told us to hide and wait in all four directions? A risky assumption. Zero is probably planning to assassinate Euphemia. Even though the cameras are off, you're still being extremely careful. This is a needle gun made from ceramic and bamboo. It can't be picked up on a metal detector. Lelouch, you would never shoot me, would you? Better no, not. I would never do that. You'll be doing the shooting, Euphie. Huh? Is this really all right, leaving her alone with Zero? Whoa. Is there something wrong? Why are you here? What are you doing with Zero? It looks like he can see me. Is that because of our indirect contact and what occurred at Kamen AI? Mm. Or is it because he... But if that's the case, then... He what? Hmm. The world is going to witness you, a Britannian princess, shoot Zero. What do you think will happen next? Rioting would break out, I imagine. Right. Zero will become a martyr, tricked into a death trap, and instantly your popularity will crash to earth. What kind of nonsense? You should just help me to rebuild Japan. If you force it upon us from on high, then you're as bad as Clovis was. <laughs> After hovering near death, Zero will be met with cheers when he makes a miraculous recovery. Because people don't give a damn about reason, but nobody can resist miracles. Now, take the gun. Huh? There can only be one messiah, you understand. And when the people realize that you're a false one, they all... <laughs> I, I thought so. It's getting to need him. to know one thing. Are you the... <laughs> oh, shit. No, he's reached that point. Oh my god, this... <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Major Kurinobi! Why you? What have you done to him? 
Jesus. Get away from him. This is something I have to achieve on my own. And so for that, I shall now stain your hands with blood, Euphemia the Britannia! That isn't my name. I pronounced it. But I've given out my claim to the throne. But why? It isn't because you accepted zero, is it? Well, of course. I have to pay the price for doing something so selfish. Those are the consequences. <laughs> Yes, but it wasn't difficult for you to give that up. Well, I suppose you did it for my sake. <laughs> as conceited as you ever were, but now I do it for Donnelly. She told me herself, all I want is to be with my brother, and that's all that matters. I want nothing more. For that petty reason? That's right, Lelouch. That's how I made up my mind. It made me stop and seriously reflect on what was truly important to me in life. I'm not giving up anything that has significant meaning or real worth to me. And you don't need to worry. I won't tell anyone about you. <laughs> and Cornelia? It's not like we'll never see each other again. Yuffie, you are a fool. An amazing fool. I know I'm not a fool. I've never been able to beat you at games or studies, however. However, in your usual rash Yuffie fashion, you've managed to end up winning all of it. When I think of you, I don't visualize a sub viceroy or a princess. I only see the plain little Yuffie who you used to be. Then will you join plain little Yuffie and help her? <laughs> you are... you are the worst opponent I have ever faced. <laughs> <laughs> She's... You win. <laughs> oh. I'll amend my plans to help out your special zone. Oh, actually? But not as your subordinate, all right? All right. Did you honestly believe that by simply threatening me, I would shoot you? Oh no, you've got it all wrong. When I really want people to follow my orders, they will not resist. Whether it's to shoot me, to grant pardon to Suzaku, or any order at all. Oh, now you're being silly. Stop <laughs> I'm serious. For example, if I told you to kill all the Japanese, it wouldn't matter how you felt about it. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, he did it on accident. You're right. What a fucking idiot. Oh my god. I can't control my chaos power. What an absolute idiot. Oh my god. Experimental subject here then, your highness. Yes. How intelligent is he? Our resources are rather limited in Area 11. I see. We should ask the room for a guess about that. Very well. That makes me so angry. I hate that. We have to wait to do anything until the security situation in Area 11 has been stabilized. We can thank the specially administrated zone for that. Jesus oh, Christ. Everything's oh my God. Sub Viceroy, we're zero. Those of you who call yourself Japanese, I have a favor to ask. Could you all die, oh. please? What did she just say? Suzaku. <laughs> He's only unconscious. Um, I was hoping you'd all just commit suicide, but you can't, can you? Okay, soldiers, please kill the Japanese. Kill them all. The woman's wrath. Yuffie, no! Halt! Adam, what do Stand aside! Oh my god. Come on, soldiers, do your duty. Hurry up! Princess Euphemia. Please stop this at once, your highness. This is... General! Forgive me, General, but I have to kill all the Japanese. Now, Britannians, kill the Japanese! Oh my god. Yeah, could you imagine a worse situation? Japanese here. Princess Euphemia issued the command herself. No, that's absurd. You're Japanese, aren't you? Do you have anything to say? It's so... I'm so angry. I'm so angry. And I hate Lelouch for all the times that he just used it for, like, random dumb shit. Especially once he knew that like using it he literally got told yeah if you use it too much you'll lose control of it and then he just kept using it too much it it's just so frustrating jesus 
this thing. I gave us to this. Zero, please help us. Your Japan save you. Stop it. Don't call me your savior. Because I'm not the Messiah of Japan. Stop it. Don't, don't force me. Must I atone for this sin? Is this a cross I have to bear too? Zero. You son of a bitch, what did you do to Princess Ufemia? Tell me! Andreas Dalton, the closest of Cornelia's inner circle advisors. Kamaki, what's happening inside the stadium? We're trying to figure that out! We're getting a feed from the stadium now. Piers, why can't you cut it off? We're not transmitting this. It's someone else. Stop it. It's going oh. out to the entire world. They will cut off the broadcast at any minute now. Let's upload the data to the net. I have no idea how you arranged the situation. Your scheme has gone well beyond what I had expected. So sad. Dude. I'm shocked. I didn't think you'd go this far. It wasn't me. What? This time I didn't use the power. Or I should say I didn't mean to use my gios. I see. I knew there were risks when we made our contract. You told me how dangerous this power could be. Nonetheless! <laughs> Yes, you're worthy of being called my child now! Jeez. What madness is this? Princess Cornelia, wait! Don't follow me unless you want to come along. I can't believe Yuffie would order the slaughter of all those innocent people. I've got to find her, no matter what. Oh my god. Guys, run away! Hey, the Britannian forces have begun moving out of the state. Oh my god. In this case, our only option is to exploit Euphemia to the utmost. It's the least we can do. Attention, Zero! Return that unit! It's property of our military! This is my order to all Black Knights! Euphemia has become our enemy! Especially administration zone of Japan is a cowardly trap designed to lure us in! All armored autonomous battle knight unit! Advance on the ceremony grounds and wage an attack! Wipe out all Britannian forces! Save the Japanese! Hurry! I have- I must find Yuffie! Find her and kill her! I don't like this show anymore. You don't like this show? <laughs> no! It's too sad! <sighs> Anything you want to say before we move on? It's just too sad. I don't like it. <laughs> I guess his gios is just on constantly now, so we can't tell anyone to do anything while looking at them. He was just dumb to look at her and say shit like that anyway. Yeah. That was just, that was just a... Yeah. Impeccable timing. <sighs> oh my god. And it's... Yeah. And just, and it, it's it's so fucked how fast all the Britannian soldiers just go along with it because, but you shouldn't even be surprised because Cornelia and Clovis would say shit like that all the time and they would just do it. Like it, it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, we've never done this before or received an order exactly like this before. They're probably like, oh, I see this was just a trap yeah. and we better go for it. It's just... It's just really tragic. And especially for Euphemia, who, like, her into, like, she was, like, j just trying to be good. She was just trying to make things better. Yeah. Next episode. Alrighty. We're checking out episode 23. Oh my god. I don't even know what they can do now. I guess they're just gonna- they're just gonna have to kill her. Like, either side would kind of have to kill her, or if Cornelia captures her, she'd just have to, like, capture her and lock her away forever. Cause mm -hmm. she's just... <sighs> it's just so sad of all the- of all the people that it could have happened to. The person who actually was really trying to make a difference and, like, really trying to do a good thing and everyone trusted her. Euphemia has betrayed us here. All units descend upon the stadium. Grind the Britannians to dust! 
Ooh, look at that one. Oh my god. We can throw it on the net for the entire world. They have everything. It's clear which side justice is on. How wonderful to finally meet you. I guess they were quite close, right? Really? Like just up the Like cuz it was around Mount Fuji, the zone, right? Yeah. So they were like right there. Relative of Suzaku's. This girl, she's a relative of Suzaku's. Hmm. Zero. Are you prepared to work beside us in what's to come? The opposite. Mm. From this point on, the six houses of Kyoto will be under my control. I won't hear any objections. All other paths of survival for you have now vanished. Dictator time. Yeah. I guess he can't really afford to be working with other people. I'll contact Prince if he could accidentally do shit like this all the time. Oh, 
know who that is. How about everyone that was there? Are the Japanese happy? She's a murderer! She's a filthy wet lion! The media is the symbol of Italian's hypocrisy! A murderer cloaked in the flag of a nation! You think I did? Okay? I hope that bitch burns your life! You feel the official zone is a great success. The Japanese people were given back their home, and you did it. Oh, thank God. I'm here In a weird the way. We will not turn back the hands of time. The new Japan we go on to build. Broad enough to accept all people's histories and ideology. Where the strong shall not reign over the weak. And it shall be called the United States of Japan. He's done it. This is the birth of a nation. Ashford Academy together. The student council is so much fun. Yuffie. You have to do it for me, okay? Please, Yuffie. No, don't go! Zaku, I'm so happy. Yes, this is the best chance we'll get. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Your Gios has no effect on me. That's true, isn't it? <laughs> With my Gios out of control now, I can never see anyone. Oh. Yes, Nunnally? Hi, Lelouch. I was wondering, um, do you suppose I could talk to Yuffie again? <laughs> I was thinking the three of us could go to the school festival together. You see, Millie said they were organizing another one. Since everything got all messed up the other day. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you don't want us meeting ever again. But I thought maybe if there was some way you and I could maybe see her just one last time. No, no. Oh. Haven't you heard the news? Oh, well, the radio cut off mid-broadcast earlier. Why do you ask? Did something happen? Of course not. Everything is just fine. Sorry. I'll be home by tomorrow. We'll discuss it when I'm back. Right. All right, so you can switch off your kiosks. Are there any other changes you noticed? Not really. It's just Yuffie. She tried to resist the kiosks and my orders. I was wondering if my power had weakened. I think, I think such a malignant command was simply against her nature. And so she was just too all. good. It was something. We have our contract. I promise to stay with you till the very end. We were fast enough. We may have managed to keep the news off the net, but oh. there's insurrections all over the map. Oh my That's god. That's correct. We're now absorbing all of the masses and oh shit. The Tokyo settlement. Oh We're my god. Right now. Yes, and with so many honorary Britannians turning on us, our enemies number in the tens yeah. of thousands. Lord Guilford. Forget it. We cannot move without Her Highness's word. But sir. The Viceroy's been shut up in Princess Euphemia's room ever since she cancelled the attack orders. And we still can't get... I don't think Nina's taken this well. No. Oh my god, and they've taken over their stuff. Looks like the troops from Yamanash have joined up with us. Wow. And the remnants of the blood of the samurai factions. I hope everyone in the student council can get away. They're about to siege this motherfucker. Yeah. I forgot the art of kindness ages ago, Maria. I hope you're all right, Kaname. I'm fine over here. Oh, they're spray painting them. We need to talk about something important. They're uh, Britannian mm -hmm. Sutherlands. 
What's wrong? Well, that's the first time you've called me by that name. Oh, you're right. Does it sound weird? Not a bit. Anyway, I'll be here. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be there. there she oh, is. shit. Hey, white woman. Watch us from your window, huh? Admit it, you're some sort of spy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Lelouch? Is something the matter? No, not really. Man, I wish you'd go back to calling them Lulu. It's time you two made up. <laughs> what, you mean I call them that? Mm. Nina, they want us upstairs at school. Oh my god. What are you doing, Nina? Wait, and Zero is coming, isn't he? She's gonna try to fight, holy shit. Please, wait for me, Princess Euphemia. I'll avenge you, I swear. Oh my god. Yuffie, I just don't understand. Why did you give that order? Shall I tell you? <gasps> this. Child? How do you do, Suzaku Kudurugi? You may call me V2. V2? V2? Oh, V2. It's a whole alphabet of them out there. They've broken the Atsugi line as well. Maybe the homeland can help us. You'll never make it in time. No. We should evacuate this area right away. Don't panic. Mm -hmm. She's Amelia. back. Place all our forces on the outskirts of Tokyo. We can end this. We just need to take down Zero. Kill Cornelia and the day will be ours. You all have your orders. Now be ready. Now's when it gets serious. Yeah. Your sumeragis. Thank goodness I made it in time. That was so mean of you the way you headed off to battle without me. I've been a huge fan of yours ever since your big debut. I was hoping that I'd finally get to you. Wow, you're really tall, aren't you? <laughs> you're awfully chipper given the you. circumstances. I followed after you so I could watch my future husband fight. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't joke around. Once you win this battle, you'll eventually need a wife, won't you? Really? You believe we're going to win this battle? Of course! I am the goddess of victory, after all. I'd be lucky to have you, then. Unfortunately, I've already made a contract with the devil. Huh? I have no room in my life for deity. Hey! We have to get this experimental subject back to the homeland! The pressure! Oh! Oh no, this thing's gonna come flying out of here and... The sparkles and stuff. Good morning to you, it was. Do you recognize who that is? No. Oh shit, oh yeah, that's um... Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Orange boy. Yes, I couldn't tell with the um... With the lighting, because you can't see the like his hair color or anything. Oppressors who abuse their power. We will wait until midnight. You have till then to surrender to me. This is your only warning. Heed it. Twelve midnight. Not a single second later. General Dalton, you're in no condition to do this. I don't care. I have to be at Her Highness's side. Your little bluff is meaningless, Zero. The Tokyo settlement is an impenetrable fortress. I really think that? You can still turn back, you know. Your actions here will affect more than just Area 11. You and this entire world will be steeped in war. I'm aware of that. And yet all the same. <laughs> Yuffie, how could that be possible? Suzaku. No, it must be an imposter. <laughs> Lelouch, it's me. Suzaku, why are you calling me now? Lelouch, are you at the school? No, but I will be soon. I see. <laughs> I called because there's something I want you to tell everyone for me. And what would that be? The sky. Make sure no one looks up at the sky. What? Lelouch, is there anyone you could ever hate so much that you'd actually want to kill them? There is. Yes. I used to feel that sort of thinking was unacceptable unless you followed the rules. Killing someone was just murder. But now... It's hatred that's guiding me. I'm fighting to kill someone. I'm going to become a murderer in the skies of Tokyo. So please, embrace your hate. Just think of Yuffie. I made my own mind up long ago. I have no intention of turning back. For Nanali, you mean? Yes. I have to go now. Thank you. Sounds so creepy. Forget about it. I mean, you and I are friends after all. For the last 
past seven years. Right. See you then. Yeah. Later. Oh my god. If that wasn't like a I know you're zero, I don't know what else is. Oh my god. Oh my god. The whole settlement. These hands of mine have been dirty for a long time now, Suzanne. You're coming to face me now doesn't matter at all. Hell, I welcome it even. I mean, of course, you and I are friends. <laughs> oh my god. Perhaps this is what I've longed for ever since that day. The destruction and loss of everything. That's right. Destruction always comes before creation. And for that goal, even my own conscience must be cast aside. The only path left to me is straight ahead. Now then. I'm surprised that they didn't make that the end of the season and do like a oh, crazy cliffhanger. cliffhanger. I mean, that there's still opportunity to do a big cliffhanger. Holy shit. So things are escalating. It's just so upsetting on every level, like just so horribly tragic and for no, for no reason. And I don't know, just in the, pr in the previous episode when Lelouch went up there with this whole plan and he, he, he was all ready to just, you know, get her to shoot him. Like that was, that would be bad enough to like result in a sim similar it would have resulted in something similar, not nearly as bad, because yeah. the soldiers were out to kill civilians. Exactly. Which is if, different. If that had happened, then the soldiers wouldn't have just, they would have been out to kill. There would have been a lot of collateral like, damage. Yeah, there, there would have been a lot of collateral damage, but it wouldn't have had the, the same effects. And just on Yuffie herself. Yuffie would um, have survived. Sure. No, I mean, but I mean, like, just in, like, in terms of her, like, s her soul or her, like, having to do something that, like, she was able to resist it for a moment because it was just so against everything, like, every fiber of her being to do something like that. And the fact that then she was doing it with then her, with her same personality of just like, oh, come on, you guys, die. Like, it's, it's. It's super, it's just so disturbing to watch and just sad as well. Cause in the end, she's still like, even when she was, she was dying and she just completely forgot and just, oh, what, was it a success? It's so sad. Mm -hmm. It's just really sad. <laughs> and also it sort of ruins Suzaku as well. Yeah. Because he... He, before he didn't, I don't know, he, st he still believed that everything could be good. And then if the, like, goodest and nicest person who really was capable of making change and, like, did something so wonderful, then just all of a sudden picks up guns and starts shooting people in the crowd. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just so It feels so bleak. Up. There's no hope. Yeah. It's like she was the hope of the world and she just, she didn't just die and like now, oh, the one person who gave me hope is lost. It's like she completely, in the eyes of everyone, completely, complete 180 from like it's the most full hope. It's betrayal. Everybody, yeah. It's, 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 it's full betrayal. And it's the worst betrayal you could have because they fully trusted her because, and because it wasn't her doing the betraying it wasn't her at all and that's what that's what she because she was so believable they didn't fall into a trap they were believing the truth everyone was and that's and that's even the britannians what, like some of the britannian soldiers like a spe spe specifically the knights and everything were pieces of shit but um when they like stormed all of the the uh uh like the officers who were there like when um what, whatever his name is the guy with the red hair is always like yelling and laughing and shit yeah um I can't remember his name right now. I usually am good at that. But he was, like, holding up the guy, and they're, like, killing these these just, like, government workers and shit. And, they, like, they... And no, nobody, like, was that against it to the point where they wanted... Nobody wanted this. Yeah. Everybody was going... Everybody was going this optimistically for the, the future. Yeah, the thing was, even if... Even if all the, um... 
like, soldiers and stuff that were there, even if they, like, had a problem with this zone and were, you know, not happy about it, they weren't so unhappy about it that they were going to, that, you know, that they wanted to just kill everyone there. Um, yeah, it's just, uh... We can just move on if you don't have much to say. I don't know. I just, I just, I just don't know what to say. It's just so bad. And even now, even, and like Lelouch said, it's like, oh, it's at this point, he had no choice but to just use it to the best yeah. of his advantage. Yeah. Cause or else it's just dis- disrespectful to her to, sacrifice. To her sacrifice. And, to, and like, yeah. And, and to his sacrifice and the sacrifice of all the, you know, the Japanese people that were there hoping for a better future. There's no, there's no going back from this yeah. in any way. So they really don't have a choice. And there's never been a better chance to overthrow yeah. the Britannians. But it's just... They bas- he basically it's just, just like 911 would Japan. It's and just now such it's like- a waste of, you know, like he had had his different plan, but Euphemia was able to convince him to work with her. And yeah. he was fully ready to work with her. And instead he had to have his stupid conversation of like, oh, well, I can do whatever I want. And just, just fucked up. And now no, he can't look at anyone other than C2. And I guess his sister as well, because she's blind. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Leave a like and subscribe. We're moving right along. Check out Patreon to see the finale of uh, season one of Kogios. See you then. Bye-bye.